Most of the mid-latitude lakes are alike, but Lake Baikal is different. It looks like an alien that has come to us from another planet. The lake's ecosystem works like the mechanical universe of a computer game in which everything is interconnected and in constant motion. Such an ecosystem is very stable and a lost link in the food chain will be replaced immediately. To break into the cycle of food in nature for a newcomer is very difficult. But sometimes strangers manage to hit the jackpot. This film is dedicated to just such a case. Baikalian algae have clearly expressed zoning and seasonality. These are filamentous algae ulothrix, bubbles of gas that they emit raise up their strands and threads. They grow in the depths to lengths of about one and a half meters, and these tangles follow the rules. Didymosphenia, the flowers of which look like balls of cotton, peacefully grow side by side with delicate tetraspora. These algae form a second zone of 1.5 to 2.5 meters. Deeper, we find the graceful openwork of Drapanalgia. It sprouts similar to spruce twigs. Each algae has its place and time. This is a strict order, convenient for other lake inhabitants living at the same depths. A few years ago, filamentous algae were observed in the lake. They didn't recognize the rules and behaved indecently. They can be found at depths ranging from 0 to 40 meters at any time of the year near all localities. This is the bottom near the town of Listvianka, a tourist mecca, one of the lake's landmarks. The continuous carpet of filamentous algae, Spirogyra, covers almost all of the bottom and little is left for the other Baikalian life. This is the site near the town of Severbaikalsk where local residents sounded the alarm for the first time in 2013 when hundreds of tons of spirogyra were washed ashore. This unpleasant smelling crust is simply dried filamentous algae which has been washed ashore by storms. The next harvest has already turned green in the water. Aliens fell into the lake before, but did not have any success. Scientists have proven that the unprecedented progress of the alien algae is directly linked to human activity. Settlements and campsites standing on the shore of the lake have no treatment facilities, and those which have do not meet the established standards. As a result, the lake takes in too much human waste, as well as washing powders and detergents. For algae, this is the best food a paradise of nitrate and phosphate fertilizers. What's the problem, you ask? Everything is growing, everything is green. It's great, isn't it? Yes, it's great, but not for Baikal. It's biodiverse for limited amount of food, ensuring that each species seeks out its own sophisticated way to obtain nourishment. If there is an abundance of food, the one who eats faster wins, and the winner develops so rapidly that the others have no place to live. The large volume of tourists, thanks to whom the inhabitants of the Baikal region have jobs and money, is turning into a disaster for the lake. But Spirogyra is only an indicator of the lake's condition, and not a cause. There could be another water plant in its place, happily growing in a nutritious soup of feces and phosphate powders. Although this problem has only enveloped the shallower waters, it has begun to affect the basic processes taking place in the lake, such as the migration of Arctic Cisco. The life of Baikal has already changed. <laughs>